Alright, Wasabi, welcome back to the channel. Got a battle on the Karelia map with Crazy from Ducky Clan, and he's in the Type 62, which is a uh, tier 7 Chinese uh, premium light tank. Now, we're featuring this game because this is one of the um, vehicles that you can earn through the current Lunar Challenge. I'll put the link to the um, information article on that in the description below. It's been in the game for a while. Um, it's a bit similar to the um, type uh, the 5916, but uh, it's, this is a premium version. Yeah, he's come up to the um, north side of the map to spot tanks coming up here. It's typical for medium tanks and some TDs. And he's fairly forward at this moment, so he doesn't have a lot of support apart from the um, people who are up on the sniping shelves. Um, so I don't think he wants to go much further than this. So, got an IS spotted crossing. Puts a nice shot into that. Now that's not such a risky move because the, um, the Soviet heavy tanks are typically um, very poor view range, so typically around sort of 340, 330 to 360 meters of view range, whereas the um, Type 62 has got uh, much better view range, including the fact that he's running um, coated optics. And uh, as well as um, crew food, which will improve the um, overall view range of the tank, I'd say, coming up to around 440 or something like that. Now, he did spot a Vipera there, and that's probably the trigger for moving back here. He wants to keep the tanks that he's shooting at uh, right at the edge of his view range, so he's looking for a spot where he can shoot. And this part of that was because, you, as you can see, there are no other tanks on that line that he was on apart from the weather by Pera is, is also fairly forward. So he's going to keep spotting, but he needs the other tanks to shoot. So you can see if any damage that he's done. You can see how his damage, but um, yeah, no assisted damage there at this point. So the Jigsaw has actually asked him for help. And here we go, oh, Amex 1375. Sitting still, that's a bit odd, but in any case, it's a nice shot into him. And he gets sent back to the garage. And there's the IS pushing forward a bit. And can he penetrate with his standard rounds? Yes, he can. Going to the turret. There's a KV3 pushing up as well, but he'll keep shooting at the IS until he gets out of range or out of view. But, uh, Putting uh, shots, or get another kill here. Yes, so he picks up his second kill. And just putting shots into the KB3 here. So he's picking up a small amount of assisted damage here. But he's already racked up a thousand hit points of his own damage, so early stage of the game yet. But uh, just as you can see, backing up, keeping the KB3 at a distance where he knows the KB3 can't spot him. Now he does know there's still a Vipera down there, as well as the Stura ML. But uh, just coming forward here, and if he does get spotted, obviously he'll make a quick turn around. Now, the IKV got spotted there, and taken out by the Mutz on the enemy side. Well, we don't know where the Mutz is, but um, possibly just down in the middle. And crazy it might be able to smoke him out. Oh, there's the Vipera. And he's picking up some assist damage there, so that's all that's good. That means he's the only one spotting that tank. And just coming up here, there's a ramp here that he can come up and side shoot the Vipera, but he does get spotted here, so just pulls into a spot he knows he's protected from the hill and from other parts now. He doesn't know who's spotting yeah. Now the stereo ML obviously could be the one, but um, so far, interestingly, he hasn't spotted anyone himself, so it's going to be interesting. Alright, there's the Stereo ML. Now, could have been him, but he is spotted again. That Probably the Stereo ML is in definitely the range of that tank, but 
finishes to put in some shots into him. And so far now he's shooting back, which is good. Oh, there's the Mutz. Maybe it was the Mutz who was spotting him earlier. So, can he get some side shots in here? Not likely, but can if they're pointing the other way. Yes, we're going to side shots into the Bipira. No, unfortunately that uh, doesn't hit the spot. No problem penetrating the Mutz, that's a medium tank, but um, also fairly lightly armoured. And he's using his premium rounds at this point, but um, in case you can... Um, so talking about the uh, competition, yeah, if you want to pick up this particular tank, um, you can have a look at the article link below. And it's a pretty handy tank here. Oh, well, this is SU-130PM, maybe that was the one spotting him nose pushing in here. First shot goes into his tracks and a bit of a risky move by the SU. It's really taking quite a bit of damage out of him. And he can't turn as fast as the <laughs> Type 62 can. Okay, now he's managed to back up. That's probably the right thing to do, back up into the wall, but didn't save him. But he did manage to get a shot into Crazy there. Oh, we can get rid of the Mutz here. Yep, so two kills in quick succession. That's given him four kills now. And the enemy's starting to melt. There's only three tanks left. The Sonati and Caro P88 and the Basante. So two heavy tanks and Anati. And yeah, speed downhill, not too bad. Getting to the 60s, can't keep it up across the flat ground. So we look at that. Yeah, not doing too badly. So yeah, so speed not too bad for the type 62. And you can see the gun fairly punchy, even with the standard rounds, and while he's just zooming forward. Let's have a quick look at the gun. Find our cursor. So, 180 average damage, as we've seen. Pen of 145. With tier 7, of course, 85mm gun. And it's got a heat round, which bumps up the pen to 220. So, for tier 7, that's sort of average, but not bad for a light tank. And there's the M12. And puts a shot into him, and then gets the assisted damage there. So... It's getting closing into um, nearly 4k of damage. Now, did take a hit on his tracks there, so they did spot him. Um, but uh, now the Basante is occupied, and he's going to be able to get rear shots into him. Oh, that one didn't hit the uh, armor as he thought. But it's only a couple of hit points left there. Get one more shot in. Besante's anyone left. Finds a quick shot, doesn't connect. And he's not spotted, so he's afraid to take another shot. Can he get another shot to the side of the turret? Yes, he can. Takes him down to 44 hit points. And unfortunately, doesn't get the kill. But uh, nonetheless, great game there from Crazy. Just under 4k. And another 1300, nearly 1400 of assisted damage. Well, let's go and have a look at the detail. He's earned the uh, high caliber award for the most damage, which is uh, pretty good for a light tank. Uh, it's tank sniper award and the Orlex medal for killing um, TDs or tanks that are at least one tier higher than his own tank. So, yeah, just goes to show that with a light tank and being bottom tier, that you can actually uh, get rid of tanks that are higher than you. So the four kills we saw, um, just under 4k of damage and 1374 of assisted damage there, so that's um, 5.4k of uh, combined damage, so pretty handy. And of course the Ace Tanker badge has gone with that, so let's have a look at the team score. 1757 base, so that's a very nice level of uh, damage there. Oh, sorry experience and next best tank was the G-Saw who was on his flank um, only tanks to beat 2k of damage on his team so nice carry there the SU-130PM actually came pretty close to damage there um, assisted there by getting at least 600k plus out of uh, crazy from his tank but uh, there was the brakes but um, yeah he'd be disappointed with that one and the Basante and the Stereo Mill getting over 2k, the other standouts on their team. So, yeah, a bit of a wonky game there from the enemy side, but um, crazy team basically being held up by the two players, including himself. 
All right, so what do we want to know? How does it cost to run this tank? Well, it is a premium tank, so that will help dramatically, although tier sevens don't earn as much as tier eights, of course. So it fired 20 shots, 28 shots, 24 hit and 20 penetration, so good shooting as well. And fire some HE shells there, so that's where the splash damage comes in from. Yeah, personal reserves running, as well as uh, battle payments from the clan. So a total income there of 206, but um, cost from an ammo perspective 74k had to fire some heat shells there to to get through the game and then the consumables there so but it still end up making a nice profit of 108k so just goes to show that uh, this tank is not too bad obviously in the right hands but um, I think most players who can play light tanks could make this work so if you're interested yeah check out the uh, Lunar Challenge and see whether you want to put in the effort to to get this tank all right um, Anyway, great, another great game there from Crazy over here. Three mark that tank, so you can see he's pretty consistent with it. Um, but certainly, uh, hope that helps you make a decision about whether you want to pursue the tank. Uh, if you like the video, then please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please consider doing that. A lot more great content to follow. Thanks very much for watching.